Okay guys, welcome back to this garage. You know, Uncle Archer's project. So, I'm going to make, uh, I had a, a fellow that he, uh, he asked me to make a different video using files. And so I brought out a couple of files. These are called Bastard. This is a medium. You don't want any too coarse because it just won't cut. These files are old. They're probably not that good. If you do garage sales or whatever, or you can just go to the hardware store and buy yourself a nice fresh one. Uh, and I'm going to start with this blade here, which is in pretty good shape. It's a it's a dual cut blade, so it's it's for mulching as well as bagging. It does have this wing. And I'm going to make a pass. We're going to try a few different files. I'm just going to make a pass over the top, chuck it in a vise, or clamp it to your table. And I'm going to make a quick pass over the top just to make sure that it's flat. Okay, and this one, like I say, if, if you do it often, you're going to have files uh, that will last a long time and you won't really be working too hard if you buy a new file. This one seems to work pretty well. And if you want to get the mix off, and the file only really cuts in one direction, so doing this doesn't do much. Okay, so good filing technique is generally go in this direction because it cuts in this direction. If you keep coming back you could you could dull the file. So I see that looks pretty good. It's you're not gonna get off every little imperfection. Okay. And let's just let's just make a pass. And just try to mimic the same angle that's there. So if you see it it's just cutting and this one's actually doing a really good job. You can see it's cutting, it's highlighting the whole area. Let's try a different one. This one was really nice. This is a smaller one. This one's a little more dull. And let's try this one. This one's probably been around a long time. Not that one's dull. It's, it still cuts stuff. Let's go back to my one that's working. And that, to me, this is it. I mean, this, is, this blade's in pretty good shape. just trying to put that edge back on there. And if you ever look at a brand new blade that's factory sharpened, they're really not razor sharp. So come, come to the rear of the blade and just remove the furs or anything. That's it. Okay. So, another quick look. These are all basically medium bastards. This one you can see is an older one, but this is one of the ones I commonly use. But I like this, the profile on it. It's small. This is a nice backup, and this is the one I used. So let's flip it over and do the other side. We're going to do the same thing. I'm sure you work inside, but you know it's nice out. So I'm in the shop all the time. So let's see. I'm going to give you guys a, a little different view. The only thing about working outside is, is uh, you know, you can't see the camera. Okay, I'll show you this view, and it's terrible because they could, no matter which way I go, see if the camera is, is like right where my arm wants to be, and I, you, know, you guys don't want to see my hairy arm. Maybe you girls do. Okay, we'll come across the top. You see, there's some nasty there. just take it longer with a file, but if you're doing your blade once a year, which is basically what you should really be doing, unless you hit something. But you see, look, this, this file's in good shape, and it's, it's cutting quick. And you don't have to get out every little imperfection. And it comes up the back, make sure there's no burrs. That looks pretty good. You're not going to get everything out. Don't try, because you don't want to affect the balance of the blade. You want to just, especially if it's a newer blade, okay, you just, you want to just freshen the blade up. And like I said, uh, like I was saying when I interrupted myself, when I got interrupted, uh, see them from the factory, they're not particularly sharp. You know, they don't need a nice edge on them cut, and they're not going to keep that edge. You can come the opposite direction away from that, if you feel it getting in your way. This is string steel, I believe. 
and it's, it's, it's brittle, so that's why it nicks. It's hardened, but you see it flexes, and because it needs to remember its shape, because it's going to flex. It flexes quite a bit, and that's what you want. You don't want it so rigid. I'm just going to put a little bit more of an edge on that. if I slip. I like my hands. I want to try to keep them. I'm having so many other health issues. At least I can do it with my gloves. See, it doesn't take that long. Now, for me, I can't do that because it's, i got too many of these to do. But what do you think? I think that does a good job. All right? And it's going on this machine that I'm cleaning up. So, this thing is a very heavy-duty craftsman. It was yellow. I painted it green. But just to show you what I'm working on, this is a Yamaha motor. It's a very heavy, heavy duty craftsman, you know, commercial industrial machine. So I have a few more things to do to it. But right now, it's time to put a blade on. Okay. So what do you think, guys? Looks good. And if you want, while you're there, one of the things I like to do with my grinder is I like to make sure these surfaces are clean. So use a wire brush, wire wheel on a drill, whatever. The rest of the blade, it's going to get dirty, it's going to get clean, whatever. Uh, so don't worry about it. But make sure the mating surfaces are clean. And the same thing when you go to install. Put your wire brush across here. Make sure these surfaces are clean. This one's got a broken teat on it, and but it's only got one broken one, so it's, it's still okay. But if they're both broken, uh, that means it hit something. Uh, if they're both broken, replace this whole piece. You can get them in Amazon. You'll have to get a puller and you'll have to pull it off. Uh, and it's it's a pain in the neck. And don't forget to lube up these bolts all the way through. I like to put uh, a grease on it. But you can use an oil. It's not a problem. Alright, so I'm going to get back to work. And uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and say hi, comment, say hi to Uncle Arch. Arch's Garage. I'll see you guys later.